Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Chet and today I'm going to show you how to create a book cover by using Affinity Publisher. Affinity Publisher is a professional level desktop publishing software much like Adobe InDesign. It's ideal in creating all your low content book covers and interiors. And this program is fantastic as it gives you almost all features that InDesign has at a fraction of a cost. By the way, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you'll get notified whenever I post videos like this and I have tutorials on how to create book covers using InDesign and Canva as well. Links are in the description. You might want to check them out. Without further ado, let's jump into the tutorial. I hope you enjoy. Alright, first things first, you have to download your book cover template from KDP. And once you've done that, you need to determine your book cover dimensions. The dimension is the front cover, this one plus the spine, which is this one in the middle, and the back cover. And that's going to be our document with the height is just going to be the height of the trim size from here to here. So for this tutorial, I'm going to use this 6 by 9 inches, 450 page book. So that's going to be 6 inches here, plus 6 inches, this one here, plus the spine that's 0.34 inches and that equals to 12.34 inches total for the width that's our width and the height is just going to be 9 inches so now let's head over to affinity publisher and create a new document and go to file and new you can change the document units here to inches if you like or you can just leave it there and just put the unit and it will just change it for you. So enter the width here, that's 12.34 inches. The height would be nine inches and make sure that it's 300 DPI and the number of pages, one. And don't worry about facing pages as we're only going to make one page. For the color format over here, make sure it's on CMYK. Now for the margins, you can set it up or not. I've set it up at half an inch then bleed is going to be 0.125 inches all the way around. See this chain link icon over here? If you just enter the number on any of these fields or spaces and then hit tab, it will change the others automatically. And then just create. Now place your book cover template. You can either, you can either hit shift command M to open it or you can also locate it by going to file and place. Now locate your template and it doesn't matter if you use PNG or PDF. Affinity is okay with either files. So just use PDF here and then click just over here. It's obviously not centered so what we can do is either drag it manually like this or you can also go to align and then for align horizontal just click on this. Make sure that it's on spread and click on this too. For the align vertically, make sure it's on spread also. And this one in the middle, click it. And then hit apply. And now it's nicely centered. So now let's go to layers over here. And let's change the opacity of our template layer to maybe just about this much. It doesn't really matter. And then let's lock this layer. Just click on this lock icon over here. This one. And then click on lock icon. Now add a layer by clicking on this add layer icon down here. And I want this layer to be under my template layer. So I'm just going to drag this just below this template layer. And this is where I'm going to place my artwork. Now go ahead and place your artwork by doing the same thing. Just go to file, place, or use the shortcut commands. And here's my pattern. Just click open, click it here. And there we go. I'm just going to resize this. But I'm just going to make sure that it's on a bleed. It's just aligned to my bleed. Doesn't matter if it goes out of the bleed, but as long as it's on that bleed, you'll be fine. And just way over here. Okay, you can zoom in and zoom out if you want, just like that. So if you want to preview it, just hit Control W and you will see it without the margins. Uncheck the template layer. This is how it will look. And this is the front cover. And if you want to have the same design on the back, just copy and paste this one. You just make sure that you're, you're highlighting the right layer and then just drag this like so, just by the bleed. And that's it. If you want to do a plain colored uh, back cover, just click on this rectangle and then just do this. And if you don't want any spine or you want to change the color of the spine, just make it up to here and then create another one for the spine. Or if you want the same color, put it just right over here. For example, I want a different color for the spine. So I'm just going to put it right there. 
and we can change the color for this one by choosing this color picker and then I want to choose the colors let's uncheck this first and I want to choose the same colors as my front cover so this you can actually just click on any of this and it will take that color from the front cover color and now I want to do the same thing for my spine so I'm just gonna do that and I'll change the color just to click on the color picker and maybe this one will do all right I think that's okay so that if you click on a template from time to time just make sure that everything's within this margins right here I'll show you within this margins over here okay so now for the book title let's turn the template layer back on since I have a pattern layer putting a text over this pattern layer the text won't be legible or readable so what I'm gonna do is just click on the rectangle again and I'm just gonna make something like this from here to here and that's gonna center everything okay there you go so let's uncheck this one so now we can put a title on this so click on this text frame tool and maybe let's put it here hit on center I'm going to do, maybe this would be a gratitude. And then, and then just change to whatever font you want or you like. Maybe change it to this one. And we can also change the color for the text. If you just go to character and then here, you can actually change the color. Also there and just put it right over here if you go to layers just should be over there there you go now I'm gonna copy this one and this would be journal I'm gonna change this to a smaller size and maybe change to let's see if I got this there you go move it down here a bit and I can also go to characters and make a 50% tracking or maybe a hundred that's gonna have an extra space in between my letters I think that's good enough let's change the opacity of this to maybe like so there you go so we're almost done now let's place our logo on the back cover so let's do this again go to file place and maybe a simple logo then just click on that and just make sure that it's just inside of this margin so maybe it's just a little okay check there you have it and if you want to put some text on the spine go ahead and do that and just make sure that it's in this area so and, and I normally don't put anything on my spine unless maybe it's a thicker book so let's go ahead and do that I'm just gonna copy this one there and maybe I'll just do the same thing gratitude journal let's do this and then we can just flip it make sure that it's inside of this white box over here so let's maybe a little bit tinier than that if you uncheck this so yep it should be there just on that white spot just make sure it's centered there check and check the layers and that's about it and you can definitely add a subtext or author name here somewhere if that's your preference so once you're satisfied make sure that you have unchecked the uh, template layer so it doesn't show when you save it and so just go ahead and export the file just go file export and make sure it's pdf include bleed that's 300 dpi and hold document and then click export and then just save your document all right there you have it and i hope you guys found that useful and click the subscribe button and the bell if you want to get notified every time i put one of these videos out and please check out my videos on how to create book cover using canva and indesign links are in in the description okay keep on watching and keep learning take care and i'll see you next time Bye bye